Hello friends! Do you ever feel like you're coming from another planet? Like your soul doesn't only belong to Earth? In this video you will find out if you are a starseed. Starseeds are individuals who were born on Earth, but their soul originates on distant planets, stars and galaxies. Even if you haven't already discovered if you are a star seed, if your soul has extraterrestrial origin, whilst listening to this video, if you hear something that resonates with your soul, it is going to help you in this process of remembering who you really are. Very often, star seeds are very intuitive, sensitive to their environment, and they have this inspiration to explore the universe, to explore spirituality, and often star seeds on Earth are going through very hard, emotionally hard um, experiences and periods through life, because we all need experiences that are going to help us to connect and to look inside of ourselves in this search for our own answers, in this process of connecting with our own authentic knowledge. All star seeds that spend some of their uh, experiences at Pleiades, Orion, Sirius, Lyra, Andromeda, Venus, Arcturus, some other planets or galaxies on different frequencies, they all have a soul mission. We all have individual, authentic soul mission with a common goal. So no matter where in the universe you're coming from, we all have this common goal to succeed and to spread our consciousness and to connect with our own authentic knowledge. It is possible that you spend your life experiences in different parts of the universe, which means that you can uh, feel this resonance with um, few galactic races and you're going to feel more connected to this galactic race that is more relevant to your soul mission in this life. Starseed soul contract before coming to Earth. Some starseeds come to Earth as volunteers and they agree to everything what is going to happen in their life experience. Other star seeds are sent by their galactic families or their galactic system when it is recognized that their present at a certain time on Earth is going to be very important because at a certain level they could influence many souls and help many other souls at this period on Earth when they choose to be incarnated. After accepting the soul contract that is planned, every soul receives a training from other souls who already completed their mission on Earth. And every soul is aware that once we incarnate on Earth, there is a full amnesia and we are aware before we come to Earth that we need to awaken into our knowledge. And that is what makes this process really beautiful because we are all, of course, excited and there is this dose of adrenaline that we are going to be able to connect with our galactic systems and our galactic families from a physical body. So this potential to be able to do that is very exciting and that is why so many souls after they achieved their soul missions in one life that is why they decide to come again and again on planet earth after starseed connects with this knowledge after each person uh, recognizes that they have an extraterrestrial soul origin they are going to be awoken at spontaneous time or more often at pre-arranged periods of their human life. They are going to be awoken with these starseed codes, with these galactic codes, with a particular knowledge and information that is of course going to be used as useful data for others on Earth because every starseed who invests time. Every person who talks about these topics, they do invest time and they put their hearts into this 
because it is important to spread this information to inspire even more people to realize how great they are during their human experiences. What happens after that? Do we return to our home base? When we leave our physical bodies, we have right to decide where we will go. It is important to mention that not every star seed is going to go back to their home base. Some star seeds, they explore the universe, some other planets where they haven't been before, other galaxies, and many star seeds after they achieve this soul mission on Earth they uh, decide to train other souls who are preparing themselves for their first incarnation on Earth and some star seeds are choosing to help other souls that have transitioned from their physical reality because not everybody dies, not everybody leaves their physical body knowing with this sure feeling what is going to happen, what is awaiting them because many people on planet Earth are so deeply invested in fear that was sometimes also created by religion, even concept of heaven and hell, in a way can influence many humans to die in fear. And some star seeds are aware of this and they choose and they have this beautiful soul mission to help those souls to transfer, help those souls to transform and to accept that death of a human body, of physical body, is not the end, but just a new journey. So many star seeds, after they finish their life on Earth, they decide to come again and again and again, because this prospect of helping, influencing Earthlings, of helping so many souls that we love, that we adore, so many souls that deserve to know the truth, that we are not just physical bodies, that we are so much more. This pros prospect of doing that is so much stronger than a fact that we are going to wake up in amnesia again, that we are going to wake up knowing that we forgot who we are and this is why we continue and this is why we constantly do this process again and again because it is a small price to pay for everything that could be achieved. Our time on earth is so special and during our lifetimes we are always faced with the fact that we are going to leave our physical bodies one day and just this information that after we leave our physical bodies that that is not the end it can liberate us on a soul level and it can help us to truly love our human experience and to look forward for everything that is to come if you enjoyed this video you can subscribe to my channel to not miss other videos until we meet again starseeds namaste